I think that part of our resistance was to develop the uh, human rights culture and the human rights education and make it part of uh, our, um, uh, our uh, attempt to introduce the human rights culture in the society and to reinforce reinforce our uh, presence in the, uh, in the societies. And uh, concerning the human rights education, uh, we uh, developed a strategy to introduce human rights in the curricula and the school system. Uh, we started in 1996 uh, by uh, study analyzing the uh, school curricula and the uh, school books in more than uh, 12 and 13 Arab countries. Uh, it was about hundreds of school books. Uh, and the idea was to um, analyze the uh, perception of uh, Arabs uh, to human rights uh, issues, women's issues, uh, the, their perception of the, uh, the other religions, uh, minorities through the school system, how they deal with all these issues in the school system. Um, and having in mind that uh, the, all the uh, oppressive regimes start by developing their oppression inside schools and using schools and this school system to develop their oppressive regimes. We started to analyze how this functions in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the schools. After all this analysis, we brought all these results and we, uh, 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 we organized meetings uh, with the civil society organizations working on education and human rights and women's rights, the representatives of the ministries of education in these countries, and the responsibles, the directors of curricula within the uh, ministries of education. And we organized three main meetings mm -hmm. and we developed what we called the Arab strategy for the human rights education in the school system. Um, uh, this strategy was based on three main uh, work uh, orientations. First, to um, suggest um, uh, new uh, school books uh, and uh, using the human rights uh, as, uh, as a framework for the, uh, for the school books. The second orientation was to uh, develop the capacities of uh, the responsibilities of curricula and the teachers develop their capacities to analyze school books and to uh, to uh, integrate human rights in their work. And the third um, uh, work uh, strategy was to um, lobby some uh, ministries of education and develop a kind of human rights education strategy, national sh national strategies. And I think that we succeeded in. Uh, first, in training many, uh, many um, uh, people from the school system on human rights issues. We developed, developed some uh, solutions uh, or developed some curricula uh, based on human rights. And the third issue is that we also we developed a very uh, close relationship with some ministry of education and we've been part of the reform of the uh, education system in Morocco, for example. We've been invited by the Ministry of Education to be part of all this um, uh, important uh, reform of the school, uh, school uh, uh, education system. Uh, we've been also asked by the Tunisian government to be part of some reflection about how to introduce human rights in the school system. Uh, the same thing, we did the same thing with Qatar, with, uh, with Bahrain. And I think that we, uh, one of the main uh, results of this work, the also we demonstrated that uh, human rights education uh, can be used as uh, a tool and a strategy to reform the education in general. To introduce uh, the human rights issues was not only to teach human rights, at a time when uh, all Arabs were really um, hostile to the reform of the school system and the introduction of human rights because of the, um, uh, you remember all the uh, uh, um, speeches about uh, reforming the, uh, the, uh, the education system coming from 
the USA and other Arab uh, Western countries. We demonstrated by this work that we can adopt the universal um, uh, human rights principle in reforming our activities with a kind of uh, local uh, local uh, approach and local uh, energy potential